Hello, welcome to KN Learning. My name is Juan Sebastian Garcia, and we are configuring the IP Office server. On this episode, we're going to look at how to install and configure IP phone on the IP Office server. Now, IP phones are two types, either SIP or H2, H323. H323 uh, needs to use port 1719 and 1720 TCP. This phone is just an IP phone that has a display, but it has a different signaling, different from SIP. Now, if we click on extensions, let's click on users. We could right click on user, new user. When we click new, we're going to assign the name, KN Academy. We're going to put uh, a password. This password is to log in the phone. You need to log in the phone for the first time. Conference ping, if you want to log into a conference on the IP office, just click a pin on it. Uh, account status, we have a full name. Let's just put a full name to it, okay, an academy extension. This is the extension number that we're going to, we're going to use for logging on the phone so let's type 1010 and let's put an email address if you want to forward email um, voicemail messages to an email just put it on uh, okay let's just put a, a testing email there you go locale settings priority uh, profile basic users let's put info at knacademy.com we could forward messages to the email. Okay, so let's put a profile. So depending on the licensing, we could put basic user or power user. Uh, power has all the features. If we click on power, we have a cell phone enabled. We have one X portal. But if we do basic, we just need to log in the phone. That's just a basic license. So let's leave power. Uh, I could leave enable cell phone if it's a receptionist the one x soft console uh, we also have one x portal enable one x communicator one x mobile for the cell phones to be enabled uh, send mobility email we could even have web collaboration for a full conference system now if this is a special user that needs all these features just turn them on uh, we could have voicemail on as well. Let's put a password to it. Uh, we could set up the email if we want to forward emails. Just copy it or forward it uh, if, a, if a voicemail comes in. Or we could just disable it. Now we could have voicemail help, enable, disabled. We could have uh, Gmail API if we want to forward messages to Gmail. Uh, we also have uh, do not disturb other features on the new user. We have telephony, which is really important. We need to turn on call waiting on for a any IP phone. or um, It's a multi-line phone, so we have different calls at the same time. That wouldn't hurt. Uh, so we have enough of these features. Now, for supervisor... This is most regarding the call center configuration. We're going to look at that in other episodes. Now we got call logs, multi-line options. We got forwarding. If you want to forward this phone specifically, we could also do it with a button. Uh, dial in. We have voice recordings to enable uh, call recording on that phone we're creating. We could do it mandatory. We could do it on all the time, depending on what you want. So, pretty much outbound as well. We could turn it on. That means it's going to record everything in and out. Now, we could also set up a destination on what voicemail we're going to record that user. Now, button programming. We have three channels, three call appearances to receive phone calls. Now, we could also have buttons to configure on that phone. You know, buttons like a call park, call forward. We could have a, a, a different type of button for a feature. 
you know, call appearance channels will let you receive calls on that channel. So if you want to receive more for them, four or five calls, you could have another call appearance button. We have four on this on this one, so we could receive four simultaneous calls on this phone. Now we could have a bridge appearance, it's a secretary feature. We could have a call forward button. Now the call forward button is just when you press it on, it will forward calls to another extension. That's the way it works. So let's put a. You have different options. It's forward unconditional. Now we have menu buttons for other types of phones. We have mobility features, which is not enabled because I don't I didn't put the license on. Now let's do the basics. Let's just leave it as as default like we set it up. Now telling me for the password. The supervisor settings password is really important for one X portal when you want to log into one X portal. So let's put that password in. Is is very important to have that code. Make sure it's a different code from the phone as well for security reasons. So we have all the licenses. The H323 phone is ready. And let's click OK. And he's gonna ask me what type of phone, what type of IP phone you want. I want H323. So we click OK. It's gonna create that user. And there you go. We got the user created. You always want to save the settings. Once it's created, go ahead and click on the save button on the corner and it'll transfer the save data to the server. I just want to look at, okay, that's good for today. Thank you and see you on the next episode.